so now that we've conquered West Frankia, we'll on pause for a moment so some of these things sort themselves out. And then we shall go start revoking titles left and right. Because these people have no right to them. These people are heathens. And apparently I don't have the fitting law for it. We need this. Just another year. We'll deal with it then. Okay, let's see. We have some pieces that we don't want. So what is actually ours? Let's have a look here. These two are ours. We don't want these two. Do we have some sun suns? Yeah, we do. Let's grant those titles to our grandsons. And this is Orléans. There we go. Making sure they get their pieces. We have the wrong type of holding somewhere. A bishopric is ours. Don't want this. Make a vassal out of it. And we also don't want this. So we'll make another vassal out of it. Good, so we've taken care of this. Vassal inheritance warning, obviously. Yeah, that's not something that's going to happen, but we'll take care of it soon enough. High Almana. Can be my high, alm high Almana. Now my council isn't all that happy anymore. God, I'm... So many of my strong vassals are really unhappy with all of this. But it'll be fine. It'll be just fine. Everything's going to be okay. No, that's too expensive. For what it does. Everything is a bit too expensive here. Right, okay. Of course, let's invite some friends to a banquet. But they're not gonna come. Which is a shame. Maybe we can afford something in the hospital. Oh yeah, that's, that's quite affordable. Let's do that. The boy, no. Nice. No. Could go to war over this. Or all of this. But it's a holy war, so. Lots of people would join here. But it doesn't cost me anything to declare this war. Apparently, can have fleets raised. To start a war. I was not aware that is a thing. Good to know. So how many troops do you have? 10,000. How many do you have? 5,000. Very little. So let us do a holy war for Anjou. And call in the Saxons to immediately bolster our ranks there. And we shall raise all our troops here. And immediately get into conflict with this tiny little army moving around here. We'll take care of that.
Very good, the Saxons are with us. Oh look, we have a few troops standing around here too. So let's get them safe. All safe-ish. Right, everyone go on the ship. Everyone do, do just that. That's where you go. Board the fleet. Alright, we got some minor titles. Court physician. So it's actually really good to have this uh, bloodline trait because we are getting great physicians and everything everywhere all the time. I don't know who the Saxons are constantly fighting. Alright, we got enough to already go do a little bit of damage. Right, let's send them out. Really don't need those 64 that are coming there. They may stand down, go back home and rest. Right, and we'll split this army as well. So we can siege more at the same time. All going according to plan, and the thing that has the capital gets the siege leader, as it should be. Now we just have to hope that we're quicker than the revolt there. But the revolt is not going to be destroyed by the enemy. What are you doing? I ask thee. Do you love me? Or do you hate me, man? Well, he's winning it. Impressive. The Saxons are vicious. Okay. Some revolt somewhere. Is it on the islands? No. Where is it? It's the revolt. Oh, down here. Okay. Fine. They're fighting our enemy too. All the better. See how quick a siege goes with a siege master as opposed to without one. And they're beaten by someone. Lovely. And soon we can change the law to revoke titles on religious grounds. And then this all will be Christianized. Strongly Christianized. We still want to keep our troops together as much as we can, even though he's not really posing a threat. We are not taking a chance here. There are his troops moving through. And apparently, the Saxons got a little, bit, a little bit sick of my way of handling sieges there, and they just attacked. They are not listening to me. They just do what they want, really. Oh, look at that. Some extra gold for the coffers. Oh no, the full moon is upon us. I killed a cow. Oh, but we get stronger. Stronger fighter. We have a holding in here anyway. The city of Fretival. 
There we go. Okay. He would like to suggest peace. He surrenders. Thank you very much. There we go. Let's have our troops stand down. Put our retinue back together. Alright, now we we hold all this ourselves. And we don't really want to. We need to find worthy family members, ideally. To get some of those titles here. County of Anjou. Goes to him. And also the county of... Uh, County of... Uh, is it down here? No, not the baronies. Not the cities. Not the bishoprics. County of... Verdun. Over there. Let's create the lower ones. Before we get... Crazy. Silly with these things. But I need to be careful that I don't set my county capital on accident somewhere down here. That would be horrendous. Okay, do we... What do we hold here? This also. So now we should have gotten rid of all the city. Saint... Whatever this is. Don't want this. like to have a... Vassal here. These are at home. Fine. And these are the counties. Which Let's See if there's more. He can have the county of Maine. And county of... I don't know what they're called. County of Perche. There you go. And the County of Zaumur. And do we also have a duchy title to go with us? No, we do not. But we might as well create one. Let's see. You belong to the Emirate of Anjou, which I don't have a claim on. Alright, but it's time to change a new law. So let's have... Come on. Why are you people so against this? This is good for the realm. Who do we need to replace? Anyone, really. No one here is important. So let's get this guy out here. Our son. Let's change this. So we can start rearranging and redistributing the world as we see fit. Oh, another rebellion has risen. There's two rebellions now, so this is good because this rebellion holds Brittany. And this is how a huge empire tends to crumble at some point. Could create the kingdom of West Francia. Yeah? And kind of stop worrying about handling all this. And give it to our son. Because why not? That would actually be fine. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. 200 gold and 200 piety. Fine by us. And should we give it to him? To our actual son? Or to our grandson? Well, let's give it to our grandson. He owes a lot here. He shall have the Kingdom of West Francia. 
And he shall include all the lower titles so I don't have to transfer vassalage to him manually. So this is good. And we need some new commanders. All right, we can do that. And now we don't have to concern ourselves with what's going on over here because our son is just going to deal with it. But it gives us the option to declare another wall. Or not another wall. All right, let's bring home our good and loyal retinues. And let's stand down these so our vassals don't go completely bonkers. We've taken out a good chunk of Europe. Let's hope our grandson is a sensible man and let's get some strong vassals up in here. What is he good at? Nothing really. But he loves us, so let's get him to be our marshal and our son yeah let him be our steward he's good why not it's unlikely we'll ever get to vote again with these people so he'll be dead before then so why not put in some people who actually know what they're doing go study some technology somewhere there's still things to be learned elsewhere in the world oh here. Yeah. And this guy is a strong vassal. Ah, it's good enough. What do we have an imprisonment for? Ah, doesn't matter. Duchess Helga. I don't care. So now we have a actual presence on the continent. He has a few men under his control and command. But that's not too bad. We might actually start handing out a few kingdom titles. Because it's not too sensible to be as broken up as we still are. Or, that's not. <laughs> Let's go hunt. As well we should. Successful as we are. We do need to Retributary our friends there. Oh, he's, he's taking care of this raiding host there. And he won too. Well done. Well done, my grandson. Well done indeed. And you, my son? You shall be emperor in time. His heir will rule long and well, I'm sure. Who are you betrothed to? Where is this? Wait. He's an imbecile. Oh, that's going to be interesting. She's already pregnant. Oh, she, she they are not betrothed, but married. Okay. Oh, that's going to be interesting. But it'll be fine. Right. Okay, let's let's get on her this time. Let's have her come back to our court. Our wife has shunned us for many years. For my lover, Ben Ulad of the Wilds. She shall be warming our bed now. 
the attractive and quick-witted young lover of the greatest emperor of the greatest Christian emperor because look at what the Byzantines are doing nothing our Bulgaria is really going strong as well Carnot Carnate and another renowned scholar has arrived those are amazing honestly it's great okay sure against some sort of host having some sort of claim is this yeah this is the host let's just raise my grandson's army to send and help i'll have to take care of Brittany at some point But at least Frank, yeah. Back in good Christian hands. I am sending my troops. For once, no one can tell me I'm not. For once, I'm helping. Let's go chase down this... Rebel. This rebel. Rebel. I'm not saying to say rebel, but rather rabble. R-A-B-B-L-E is what I'm saying. Let's attack them. Somewhere down here. The forest. During winter. Might be the wrong move. But they are still exhausted from their pre- whoop, 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 whoop. Uh, the, um, yeah, okay. Yeah, right, I get it. Okay, fi fine. Yeah, right. Yeah, okay. I'm so sorry. Well, you arrived in time, didn't you? My daughter and this guy. That sounds like a really good match. Oh. In our old age, we want to make a friend. The last ambition left to us. Designated regent shall be our grandson. He is king after all. And we need a court chaplain and we have a great choice here, actually. That is great. That is an amazing trade. Right. Emperor Mel Petir has been the absolute greatest ruler of this dynasty so far. Bar none. He definitely is. Amazing.